Good afternoon, friends of Title Town. Today, we are going to be making something kind of unique. Um, you can make this a couple of different ways. We're going to be making kind of like our pan flutes that we made with straws, but way cooler because they're with plastic bottles. So the materials that you're going to need today, water bottles, they can be any kind, okay? Any kind. I have three or four different types here. They're mostly the same size of fluid, like ounces that fit inside there, okay? You're also gonna need a marker today, and you're gonna need some tape, okay? So, and you're gonna need some water. Let's not forget that. And today, we're gonna learn how to make Kind of like our pan flutes another another version of a flute or if you have glass bottles um, sometimes people have the, the those old-fashioned soda bottles if you have any old-fashioned soda bottles at your house glass those will work really awesome um, or uh, jars that's a variation on this instrument where you can play it like a like a percussion instrument but I'm gonna kind of show you how to explore with these sounds today, okay? How many of you have ever heard or seen uh, the sound of music or have in school learned how to do um, the music street or do, re, mi, fa, so in your music? So today we're gonna do, we'll go from do to so do, re, mi, fa, so, fa, mi, re, do. And we're gonna use those pitches on our bottles. Now, I really, really like this sparkling ice one. <clears throat> you see, I see these all over the place. This sparkling ice water bottle is probably the most sturdy of my water bottles that I have, so if I had, if I had to do this over, I probably would try to find more that are like this. Um, plastic soda bottles will work too, just so you know. So I marked this one as my do. This is gonna be my starting note. You'll have to play around with it, okay? Sometimes it's tricky to blow into these and make a, and make a sound. I played flute when I was growing up, so um, it's a little easier for me. As I fill water and as I change um, styles of bottle, for whatever reason, it gets a little tricky. So on this one, this one's gonna be my dough. So I'm gonna take my marker that I have. You're gonna need a marker today. If you don't have one, pause me real quick and go grab a marker. You're also gonna need some tape and some water. And I'm just gonna write on here, dough, dough. hear it echoing in this room. Okay, my next bottle I'm going to label Ray. You spell it R-E. Ray. My next bottle I'm going to label me. M-I. Me. My next bottle is going to be labeled Fa. F. A. Fa. Stay there, Fa. And so, so is kind of funny because it's actually spelled S-O-L. Some people just use S-O because then they, you remember it's spelled just like so. Um, but I always spell it like that. Music teacher in me, I guess. Now, each one we're gonna have to fill up with different amounts of water because the bigger the instrument, the lower the sound. We've talked about that before, okay? So between my do and re here, I'm gonna tape these together next, but re, you don't need a whole lot inside. I'm just gonna show you that. I kind of wrote a line from when I did mine. That's about how far we're gonna go with our water. Maybe about a 
half inch. Okay, so, and you'll have to sound it out as you go. So it'll get a little tricky. You might have to pause me a couple of times, but on this Dasani bottle, it's just almost the bottom. So I'll start filling in just a minute. So first things first, let's get our bottles taped together now that we have them labeled. Do, re, mi, fa, so, fa, mi, re, do. So I'm just going to take a couple of pieces here and kind of just get them taped together. Okay. You can do this however you want. I have a table in front of me, so I'm kind of using that to my advantage. Um, I'm taking shorter pieces just to get them all together at first here. This five is kind of a lot of water bottles. And then I'll probably go back around one more time. You know, in the past for our projects, we've used rubber bands. That'll work too. Um, and really, you don't have to tape them all together. I just find that it does help keep them from like wiggling all around. So here I'm using a bigger piece. And then you, when you pick them up, you can hold them. You know, and you can, you can hold them all as one instrument if you want, if you have them taped together. Now, if you... If you don't want to tape them together or you're working with glass bottles, the glass bottles I would just leave alone. I would skip this step, leave them alone, and leave them out on a table and just have them where you can use them later. Now, I always like to, for this project, turn the bottles. If, I'm, if I am taping them, turn them over and make sure I get the bottom. Okay, I like to tape together the bottoms because um, I would hate if one, if I'm holding these two outside ones, if these guys were to drop out, then I'd have a big mess or a spill when I pick it up again. Okay, let's see. All right, so now I can pick these up. Cool, huh? It didn't take a lot of tape. Just enough, just enough. And um, this one right here feels a little loose to me, so I'm gonna put one more piece of tape on there. You can tape it as much as you want. All right, cool. I didn't even take the labels off these bottles. You could. You could also color the water if you wanted to use food coloring and make them really pretty. You could totally do that. All right, so now I have my water bottle that is still full of water. Pause me real quick if you need water in one of them and come back when you have a little bit of water in your water bottle. Dough is gonna stay empty, okay? I have about a half inch on my ray. You're gonna need about a half an inch of water. So it's not very much. I have to just keep looking at it. Okay, I'm gonna put it on my lap so it's a little closer to me. Okay. I'm gonna need a little bit of half inch of water here. My me, you see, my me has a line right there-ish. Each one is gonna get a little bit more water than the last. And if they aren't perfect, that's okay. You can fill them separately too. But I do like to, um, I do like to tape them together so that I can pick it up. So sometimes I sacrifice a little bit of accuracy in my sound for this project so that I can at least hold them in my hands when I play them in a little while. Okay, if you're using glass bottles, what's kind of cool about using glass bottles like this is that um, you can also take like pencils with an eraser on the back or a pencil and you can strike them like they're a mallet and they'll make different sounds that way too, which is kind of cool. All right, so fa has quite a bit so far. My fourth one, fa, 
I have I have it till about right here. So each one we go from empty to a little more each time. And the the other thing is you can always add more water and change your key a little bit. And here's so funny radio. We should be able to play Mary Had a Little Lamb here in a minute. Now, I'm going to make sure it has at least what Fa has, and then I'm going to go a little further. Now I'm about even with Fa. And just like a little bit more. It's probably not going to be perfect, but that's okay. It's an ex kind of an experimental process here. All right, so now make sure to hold your heavier ones, okay? These fa and sol are pretty heavy, okay? And you're gonna have to find that sweet spot on your embouchure, which is your mouth and the shape that your mouth makes when it plays. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think my fa needs a little bit more and my so needs a little bit more. Do re mi fa. I wanted it to be nice and clear for you guys so that we could play a song. Mi re do re mi 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 re 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 mi so so. get in there. Ready? All right, I'm going to attempt Mary Had a Little Lamb. They're really close. They're not perfect, but it's going to be kind of fun. Okay? So if you if you have them on glass bottles, you can strike them these pitches if you'd like or you can also blow um, the plastic bottles don't strike as well to make that echoey sound because they're made of plastic. But the glass would work. Um, you could do this with mason jars as well and use um, pencils or pens or whatever to, or, or a spoon um, just real lightly so that you don't break anything. But I'm going to attempt Mary Had a Little Lamb. Okay? So the notes you need for Mary Had a Little Lamb are mi, re, do, re, mi, 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 okay? So we'll try that part first and then I'll introduce the next line to you. <laughs> success with that. Also, we can play Here Comes the Bride. Do, fa, fa, fa. Here comes the bride. <laughs> so, experiment with that. How many songs can you play with five notes? Do, re, mi, fa, so, fa, mi, re, do. You could probably do row, maybe row, row, row your boat. Um, jingle bells. A lot of fun. A lot of fun here. 
Okay, I would love for you to comment, send pictures, um, show me what you're working with at home. Okay, now if you had glass ones, you could do the same thing. Okay, so the dough on mine ends up going up the octave. Okay. A lot of fun. It works. It works. It's not nearly as clear or pretty, but it totally works. So, from Allison here at Jim's Music in Green Bay, have an awesome time with this project. Keep making music, and we'll see you for the next Title Town video. I think we're gonna make kazoos next time, but big kazoos. So, lucky for you. Next time you'll need some wax paper, rubber bands, and a paper towel roll, or anything circular like that. I can't wait to see you next time. Until then, keep making music. Bye.